Who needs to wait for people to show up? I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, I've got, oh, what the hell is this? What is that? Why is he wearing two different clothes? Oh, okay, what a way to start. Who is this? I want to introduce everyone to the family that we got going on here. It's not a family, it's a um, frat house, I suppose. We've got Trent. He's kind of the life of the party. This dude, you know, I'm working on getting his comedy skill up. He's always the one suggesting drinking games. He's amazing at juice pong. <sighs> Great at shotgun and beers. And then we move on to Chad. He's the president of the fraternity. He's an econ major. His life goal is to one day take over his, his father's hedge fund. He's probably also the first one getting into fights at the parties. He loves making jungle juice. He loves vaping and he likes picking up babes. And then lastly, we've got Landon here. Unfortunately, The Sims doesn't have this option, but if Landon had his way, um, you know his bed would just be a mattress on the floor. I only had time to get him to level three on his guitar skill as well. He wants to be a musician. Um, but you know, low skill leveling guitar never stopped any boys playing music at parties before, has it? So it's not gonna stop him either. He does want to be a musician, but he is majoring in psychology because he just loves thinking about what makes people tick, you know? In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. He only drinks PBR and boxed wine. It's our three dudes. So I created all of them and then I built their house already because I just, I'm gonna really spend some time getting their house ready for, for party time. So for now, let's just go through how the house is on its own. Cause I feel like it's, it's something special. It was actually really fun making a frat house. Here, first of all, let me do like a full view in all its glory. Just wanted to share with you the attention to detail that really went into me creating this house. Um, we've got a bunch of debug clutter going on. Um, notice the beautiful bottles and cans on the coffee table. Not a rug or a plant in sight. <laughs> Lots of lovely decor in the kitchen. We've got a mounted fish. It's actually a, a bass. Wow, I just forgot if it was <laughs> bass or bass. Anyway, a little liquor cabinet of sorts. And of course, this is my favorite part. We've got liquor bottles as decor. Pregnancy test on the floor in the bathroom. A box of tissues next to every bed. Here's Chad's room. He uses a mini fridge as a coffee table. And this is Trent's room. These are his katanas. And then this is Landon's room. He's just different, you know? Probably listens to music on vinyl. He uses these crates as his bedside tables. Oh, I just loved all this like weird decor that I never use, like these fish posters and energy drink poster. It's just so good here. Oh God, this is not what we need today. Hold on, intermission. Oh, I forgot they don't have, oh, I was thinking of putting in a smoke detector because I always do that, but I was like, hmm, it'd be kind of funny if I don't. Oh, the, this is actually fine. Wasn't it just covered in... Wasn't this destroyed, the counter, a second ago? <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, let's just chill. That was a lot. This fire th really threw a wrench in my plan. It's already 1 p.m. Let's just continue getting everyone's needs up as much as possible. Trent needs to finish up a shower and go to the bathroom, and then I can... God. <laughs> Why is my life like this? Actually, should I even mop it up? It's kind of funny that it looks bad, doesn't it? All right, let's just get into build mode because I'm just, I need to get back to what I know. <laughs> I'm gonna move everything that I don't need right now into the inventory because you gotta push everything out of the way. Oh, I can't grab, why can't I grab that? <laughs> Oh God, am I just gonna have this floating deck of cards that never goes away? That's gonna be so annoying if I can't move it. Oh well. All right, now that we've got everything out of the way, I do have something special to use today. I actually built a piece of custom content. Well, I didn't build it, it's just a recolor, but I made my first custom content item and it's a bar. Here it is. Okay, this is my bar. It's, um, it's just a recolor of this bar, which is, I guess, the cheapest one in the base game. So this is a uh, base game compatible, but yeah, I made this like brick bar that has a marble counter. Whenever I post this on YouTube, I'll 
post a link to it. And there's the third colorway. So I got these three versions of a uh, bars special for the 21st birthday. The Groovy Times bar stool, which came out as part of the 21st birthday update, they match pretty well. But for now, I'm gonna sell them and I'm gonna keep this just this one because I feel like this is the only one that sort of like makes some sense in in the frat house and maybe no bar stools actually so yes introducing the what is it called the marvelous brick bar that I made myself and then the other thing that I want to put in here for the party is the kegs they're gonna need some kegs we're just gonna fill up the kitchen with these babies loving the vibe so far <laughs> we've got water on the floor we've got kegs a bar and we've got no furniture, <laughs> perfect. And then of course in the living room, can't have a frat party without the ping pong table. Where's the ping pong table? We got the juice pong table set up and now that we're still in live mode, we can go ahead and do the lights, I guess. Let's do purple, maybe blue, yellow or green. Okay, I kind of like the pink. And maybe instead of purple, this one can be blue as well. I'm just gonna move this laptop you never know oh a karaoke machine i'm trying to make this the most epic party possible in the sims and when the party starts in the game the party starts here too let's get ready to pop some juice i started this a week ago in game i've been playing with them for a week i've been having to be on campus all the time and just like meet as many babes as they can so uh, we've got plenty of plenty of babes to invite to this party um i made sure of that I, it's gotta be a keg party. Let's get all the ladies. Becca, we got Liberty, we got Alex, Zoe, Angela. Li oh, we got both the Pleasant sisters. Look, we we met one guy. <laughs> we it wasn't just the babes. We met we met Solomon. So I might try to go into the other guys' relationships panels and just like invite people over. Maybe everyone should take a nap. If anyone's passing out at this party, it's not from being tired. Well, in a way, but. My boyfriend and I have <laughs> thrown a couple of parties at our old house where we tried to do like colored lights. Well, we did have colored lights, but we did them with like colored solo cups just taped onto the lights, which is, I don't recommend that because we've found out the hard way that it's, it is a melting hazard and it's probably a fire hazard too. I don't know, but um, it's just generally probably not a good idea. Um, but it did look cool. <laughs> I think the sims 21st birthday is really just an excuse for me to live vicariously through my sims oh everything's broken all right well i guess that's what we're spending the time between now and the party on let me think what would you normally be doing like two hours before a party probably be they should be pre-gaming <laughs> we should go downstairs make a couple of dr drinks at the bar oh this is so fun they're having their little bro sesh waiting for the guests to arrive all right it's about to begin Let's start. Oh, everybody put their party outfits on. Okay, fit check. Fit check. Like I planned, I gotta, I think I'm gonna try to invite a couple more people over because we don't have enough guys. I mean, the ratio, you know, the ratio's all off. Nobody's here, what the heck? It's 902? Oh, I paused it. Ooh, our first guest and she's a cutie. Is Chad an angry drunk? That's spicy. All right, he doesn't need to keep tending the bar. He can actually hang out and have fun oh oh my god look at this cutie you know landon's gonna go after her because she looks like artsy and indie she probably she probably doesn't know about all the cool bands that he knows about but like she listens to the foo fighters <laughs> oh he wants to take her into his room and like nothing crazy these guys are respectful but he wants to take her into his room and like play something on the guitar <laughs> you know maybe put on a maybe put on an lp you know what I think they should include in a university life pack? They should have like a study abroad thing where you just send your sim away for a, a semester. And then like after they come home from their study abroad, they always have little chat bubbles that say that they're like chatting about Europe. <laughs> like they never shut up about it. I think that'd be great. I just realized I had a pause because I realized I wasn't doing any of the goals for the party. And that's, that's important. So first of all, time to pop my own bottles of, uh, of juice. Happy birthday, Sims. <laughs> nice. Take a picture of that. A romantic gift? Do I have any gifts? I can't give her an upgrade part. Start up that karaoke machine. Mm. 
Oh, we gotta watch this uh, nice country song. Can they go upstairs? I'm not trying to try anything. I just want to hang out with her and play a little song for her. Maybe if I start talking to her, she'll come upstairs. Ugh. How do I get her upstairs? Man. I didn't think it would be this this challenging. She's playing hard to get. Gotta keep the keep the drinks flowing. I wish the parties lasted a little longer in The Sims. Because I'm still I've still only got one glass of champagne and like uh the party's almost over. But I am on gold, which means I'm getting the golden keg. You know what'd be kind of fun? Even after the party is over and like everybody goes home, we could just invite people back over and that way we can keep the party going a little bit, you know, a little after party. <laughs> Ask her if she's single. Ooh, Becca's single. All right, they gotta sing karaoke before the party's over. He's feeling a little flirty. She's maybe she's feeling a little flirty too. Oh, here we go. Here's where the romance begins. We got a high school musical moment. Let's just replace that. I don't wanna spend the time right now. I can't say I really miss frat parties in general. I probably went to one too many in my college days, <laughs> but I do miss the, the frat party themes. And I love dressing up in a costume. I've been bestowed a most excellent golden keg. I'm just gonna put it out and maybe invite some of those babes back over. Can we get an F in the chat for all the hot babes leaving the party? Dang, it's 4 a.m. What a party. Play ping pong. Oh, we forgot to play beer pong. Or I mean, we forgot to play juice pong at the party. I guess guess now's the time. That's cute. It's like everybody's gone, but they're still hanging out, just playing a little little juice pong. Oh, are they actually just playing normal ping pong? That's lame. They need to play juice pong. All right, I'd call this party a success. He had his first kiss. How about? Oh, we can play on teams, <gasps> and they can play against them too. Jeffrey Landgrab is here. Hello. <laughs> Yo, um, Trent over here on the left, he's actually a computer science major, by the way. So um, he's actually on the verge of discovering the nature of his own existence. Dang, Chad and Trent are gods at juice pong. All right, let's see what you got, Miss Girl. <gasps> oh, all right, so she's got an arm on her. <gasps> Did they lose? Man, the house has been destroyed by this party. We got us. Our stove is uh broken. We probably still got puddles of water everywhere. Someone left the music on. Can I ask her to be my girlfriend? No, no, he doesn't want to commit. Wait, before you go to bed, I take care of my boys. Y'all had a long night full of drinking and everybody needs a glass of water before they can go to sleep. <gasps> oh shoot. <laughs> it's 1.30 p.m. The home is pretty... <laughs> it's a little destroyed after that. We had probably three appliances break throughout the night. Everyone's asleep and it's 4 p.m. So I think it was a pretty good night. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I will post a video about this. Well, I'll post, you'll be seeing if, whatever, if you are watching this on YouTube, then you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks for checking it out. Happy birthday, Sims. Have a good one. Bye.